Everyone who can hear me and see me. Here we are at Paperbird Books down in Fremantle. We are doing some live streaming. Hello to the Instagram livers, out to the YouTube cats. And I am the test subject of the first Poem Club episode. And we are going to be doing some drawing. Hopefully you guys can see the circles there a little bit. So a couple of the questions that I get asked quite a bit. Oh, maybe I should introduce myself. I am. Manny Mitchell and I am, am an illustrator slash author. Um, I am currently working on a project for Larrikin Publishing and uh, with C. Cohen, the amazing author. Um, I'm lucky enough to be in here at Paperbird Books, as I said, and here's a book that I have worked on. And one of the questions that I get asked a lot is one, how do you get good at drawing? Everyone knows, practice, 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 it's like everything, walking, talking, um, skateboarding, anything you want to do. But the next question I get asked is like, what, how do I figure out what I need to draw? And one of my go-to things, if I'm trying to figure out what to draw or I can't, I will just start doing random shapes and then... Maybe I'll try and do these for a bit thicker. No, that doesn't help at all. Okay. Uh, I just do random shapes and I try and figure out what I can do with the shape. So with this guy, I'm like, oh, this could easily be a panda. Maybe he's got his tongue out, being a little goofy, little ear out, and little like that. That's a nice, quick little exercise just to get going. But sometimes I get stuck, and I'm trying to just figure out what can I draw. What's something? And I have two go-to items that I draw. So one of them is oh, I don't drink coffee, but I for some reason will all, like find it very easy to bring to life a coffee cup. We'll try and draw these a bit bigger. So here's a tall one. Here's a big round one with a, a handle. And maybe he's got a little um, bottom part to there. And then maybe I'll draw one that's tipped over. And what I find this helps me do is start to get my mind to say, what does this tall coffee cup want to be doing? Now, is he uh, a bit curious of what's happening with the little eyebrow raise over here? Looking down at what's happening over there. Hmm? Little lip. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit here, but this is all just loosen, to loosen you up to draw different things. So he's looking down at this guy. Maybe his eyes want to be a bit bigger. It's like, what's going on down here? Hmm. Give him a little shadow so it's nice and... Feels nice and flat on here. This guy... Maybe has his coffee splattering out. And so we might go clean this up just a little bit. And then I also, what will start happening in my brain is I'll start just adding little bits of detail. Even though this drawing is not going to go anywhere, it's just a warm up. It just sort of go, lets my brain go, oh, don't forget there'll, there'll be that little piece of detail. Or you want to shade it in just to give it a bit of depth. Just, uh, I'm getting myself warmed up. So then I'm like, what would this guy's face or girl's face be like? Would it be shocked? And 
still looking down at that coffee cup. And maybe it's a big tongue. Ah! Here we go, opposite of that. And now I'll give you guys a little look at what's happening there. So we're all looking down at this one. So, then I'll start adding just a little bit more depth, a little bit of darkness in the mouth. Let's give these eyebrows a little bit more life, a little thickness. You can go down here. So I'm adding the details just like, that would help bring that, the faces to life a little bit. And so I might go back and be like, oh, this one needs a little bit more. So like he's a bit more sort of skeptical of what's going on. He's a hot cup of coffee, so there's steam coming out of here. So then we get down to this one is gonna be because it's shocked, we might give you a little tilt off the ground. That might be a bit. Just like, ah, don't get me wet. Maybe this is splashing over. In the sky. Come in. And so, this is a, a to-go cup, but we'll do a recycled one. We can pretend it is. So, give the lid over here. So, splattered. Shadow. So here we go. Let me come back in here. But before we darken this, move this around. And I'm moving it around so I can get a nut like what my arm feels as a nice angle. So if I spin around, I know I can get a, a pretty smooth arch when I spin it around here. Just there. So, would we think that this person is scared, shocked, laughing, asleep? Maybe they're asleep. Maybe, maybe that would be fun. Coffee cups don't have arms, but it'd be kind of fun if we were like started adding a couple of arms to. Sort of expand on the expressions. So this guy's like, what's this joker doing over here? And this person's like, got little short arms and goes, ah, what the heck's going on over here? And then we'll give a little shadow there. So it's sort of good thing. And we're sort of going in here, but we're gonna give a little arm over here Anywhere. And then this guy, we give a little bit of like, make this a bit splashy, a bit more. We'll bring this in. So I think, if there's anyone on Instagram Live that has a idea of what the person that's falling out and they want to answer quickly, we can change, uh, we can figure out what he or sh her, maybe we just say her, we'll put some eyelashes on here, just a little, she's not impressed, she's like, what is this joker doing? And so, I'll draw another one up here, if there's anyone that thinks this person should be scared, asleep, like being silly, um, let me know, we'll draw another coffee cup up here. This one has its lid on. So this one is, maybe 
this one's on its phone. So the reason I, like when I draw these coffee cups and that, it's I start setting these little like stories in motion that sort of lets me get my mind out of um, any ruts without having to worry about it being too serious. Uh, a little hand on here. Maybe this person's a bit frustrated because they're getting on the news right now. Just like we all seem to be a little bit. So not even noticing. His mate's fallen over. Jen, have we got any one responding? Well, I was just putting out a question uh, for ideas. And um, anyway, I just suggested that maybe that coffee cup is in love with one of the others. Oh. So it's making eyes. Oh, love. I like it. So this coffee cup here is really hot, so we're going to have him blow on some steam. So we'll put some steam coming out. And then coffee cups usually have a little lip in here. So sometimes I just add that in with a little trim around here. A yeah, couple of little lines just to show you that flattens off there. And so maybe if we're in love, who are we in love with? Maybe what we're doing is we're <laughs> I've got you given you a challenge there. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we can do it. I think we can be... I see Kyle's hooked on. Kyle Hughes Odgers, who's also doing some uh, Instagram live feeds over the next few days of his painting. If anyone oh, cool. wants to join Kyle. Hugging. Maybe. Sometimes you don't win them all, people. Sometimes you don't win them all. Okay, so that one there is one of the ways that I, one of the things I draw when I'm trying to break my um, creative block. I'll show this to awesome. the crew. So the next thing I draw though is I draw tortoises. And I used to have a pet tortoise named Chinchilla, which is a type of fancy rodent. Um, which are, if you ever get a chance, look them up. They are super cute. I'd never, I never knew what one was until I went to America and seen one in a pet store and I was like, oh my gosh. But, uh, one of the, I, I couldn't get a chinchilla, but I always wanted a pet tortoise. So I got, a, my wife got me a pet tortoise named Chinchilla and I don't know if it was a he or a she, but it was, just like a mini dinosaur. And what I'll do sometimes is I'll just do different ways I can draw a tortoise. And so, what I'll do is I'll do, I'll do a little arch. I just, I'll start 
just being really rough. And then I was, at first I'll just be like getting the basics of a tortoise down and it's just gonna be super simple. Maybe it's just eating some grass. And so it's super simple, right? And then I'm like, what what could a turtle or a tortoise be doing other than being a ninja? What could they be doing that might be fun in my world? So we drew a coffee cup and maybe this tortoise is really sleepy and he's trying to wake up. So maybe he or she is hanging out with their bud. Me, coffee cup. And this guy is like just a little bit in wonder. I'll come through and I'll darken these up in a second. Add little details. Funny enough, my tortoise had very sharp claws, like this. And maybe this one is holding another coffee cup. He's also looking up. And we'll just do these real rough. And then this coffee cup maybe is holding a tortoise. And so well, I'll do there. Let's see what we have there. And right now I'm just using a ballpoint pen, which I do a lot of sketches and I have a little uh, lunchbox treasures series that I do. But let's add some a little bit of light to these with these brush pens. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is what materials do I use or should I get my kid in to use? And honestly, when I was a kid and I just started, it didn't matter what I was using. Uh, I would use my Nana's old computer paper, which had like blue and white lines all the way through it. And I would just draw on that stuff for hours on end. And it would, they all looked terrible back then. It just takes time to figure out what lines go where. And even now, I'm still learning, trying to figure it out. Like, is that line worth going there? Like, should I do short little lines in here? And I make mistakes all the time. And I have to redo some of my drawings and some of them I'm like, oh dang, that's all right. So I got this guy. The question we have to ask ourselves as we're drawing this though, is what are they looking up at? Do you think they're looking up at The clouds? Do you think they're looking up at a plane? Anyone got any suggestions out there? And you'll even see, like, I don't know if Jenny you want to get in close. I'm not following the lines exactly sometimes. Um, I'm just following, like, like, if that's a rough line, I'm like, oh, maybe this wants to flick out a little bit more. Especially because these are rough. It's a bit different when you're doing a final piece and you might um, have to be a little bit more 
consider it on each line. Maybe we could use a little bit more directional line. Give this this coffee cup can be a little a little tie, a little jittery. So then, a lot of people when they're drawing the bottom of a coffee cup or the bottom of a circle, they'll just sort of not get the full arc of it. And I think it's one of the most difficult things to do because you want to get that that last curve, the middle curve, which I didn't do very well, and then this curve. So sometimes you can budget with then adding your shadow. And you're like, oh yeah, let me let me fix that up a little bit. Come up here a little bit like that. I'm sort of fixed. So let's get to our tortoise. And so the tortoise has a shell, a top shell that they go through. And then we'll have what we'll add is a little bit of the texture to their to their shells. So we'll come in and give it a little bit of shape. Trying to make it uh, a little consistent, but a little inconsistent as well, so it's not I'm not boring. I'm filling the little gap, so he's not. And we'll get his leg here. We'll do little bumps for the. We'll also do little uh, texture parts for the. Leg. I don't think they have scales. Well, they don't, it's more like a skin, from what I can tell. And we'll also get a shadow for here, for the neck, and then we'll add a little bit of the bottom shell. So it's starting to add a little bit of life. So let's make the way it goes into the shell, so let's give a little shadow. And these little line shadows so it fades out. This guy might have to bring back. This here. And so we still have the other, yeah, add a little shadow here. So, so as you see, my brain sort of, as we're going along, starts realizing, oh, I need to add this or take that away. And my that sort of my brain starting to kick in the gear and get out of that sort of like creative block funk, I think. And so what we'll do, let's go to his, let's do a him, but we'll give him a big old man's Adam apple. Because tortoises can live a long time. And give him some big bags under the eyes. And then we do some he's looking up. There's a little nostril there. So what we're going to do now is figure out where our other arm and leg. So we're going to do them as a shadow. So we'll start this one a little bit here and go underneath. 
And that detail doesn't need to be um, at the forefront because it's not the information that we really need. And so we'll end up, we might do this one here. Let's sort of, let's just have that arm in there would have without having to draw it the whole time. Let's get into this coffee cup. Now he's a bit smaller, so we don't need all the detail in the world. And look at that. Have we had anyone chat about what they think they're looking up to? No, we haven't had a comment on that one. We've um, we've got a few other artists online. Oh, cool. Ross Potter. Shout out to Ross. He's an amazing drawer, an artist, very detailed. This little tortoise. And as you see, as I get smaller and smaller, the detail's getting less and less. Just to try and fit it in. Maybe tortoises don't grow hair, but I think they have them like a couple of old man hairs. And look at this. I need a hole for where they can drink it. Look. mouth a little filled in. Jim, what do you think they should be looking up at? <laughs> he looks uh, he looks a bit crazy happy this guy. He looks like he's something good's coming his way. Mm. I think we all need a little bit of something good coming our way these times. Yeah, and I guess that's the why we're doing these series of author and illustrator sessions every day at 10.30 to just make sure that we keep connected. Mm, it's pretty amazing you guys are doing that. Okay, so a little shadow here. Let's give this arm a little shadow. So what can we have coming this way? Hmm. Hmm. A little bit of glass here. And what we might add Kind of looks like a unicorn. So just to let people know, we've got um, James Foley coming in tomorrow and we've got Bryony Stewart coming in the next day. We've got um, a whole heap of other people like Mike Speechley, Frenet and Mark, Frenet Lassac and Mark Greenwood um, and then AJ Betts. Um, a whole heap of local authors and illustrators are going to come into Paper Bird in our little isolation studio while we can. And if we can't, then we'll stream into people's studios at home. Mm. 
We'll keep telling stories. Getting towards the end of this, add a little bit of texture in here. And then just to bring out the cloud unicorn a little bit, I'll just darken up these guys a little. And what we're also going to do is scan these illustrations that our artists do and put them out so that people can print and print them off and uh, add to them. Kids can add to them and colour them in. Yeah, that would be awesome to see what people colour in, add to them, draw to them, trace them. I used to trace a lot when I was a kid just to see what other people how it was like to draw like they did. And maybe if if we could get people to then scan them back in and send yeah. them to us, and then maybe we can tag us on Instagram. Gift uh, uh, gift the original to them. Mm. So this is That's where we're at now. My two go-to creative block pieces: tortoises and coffee cups. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks so much, Maddie. No worries. It's been my pleasure. I'm really excited for this and hopefully you guys will have me back at some yeah, time. Absolutely. Maddie's going right. to help us with making sure that we keep getting into everybody's living rooms and kitchens and making sure that we keep connected. So thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. See you later. Bye, guys.